hello friends welcome to cash advanced uh, tutorial so here we are starting the new series in this series you will learn advanced uh, c sharp uh, concepts so the series assumes that you have uh, basic knowledge of uh, c sharp like um, how to write your own class and the basic uh, language uh, related stuff like uh, looping if conditions and then the basics of uh, class and objects inheritance all the stuff so in this first uh, sub series uh, we are going to see cash interfaces so these advanced tutorials goes as uh, sub series so uh, when we take a concept we will uh, dig uh, deep into it and we will learn different aspect of the stuff that we have taken to learn say for example here in the very first sub series we are taking cash interfaces then we will uh, learn uh, about the cash interfaces and we will learn that in uh, multiple parts so each support will start with a, uh, a simple application then we will start implementing that application or example so in each part we will use the same example and we start developing it so that's how this uh, cash advanced tutorial will go all right now let's go to this first part so here we are going to know how to declare and implement an interface so you may think that uh, why it is coming here as a advanced concept uh, of course it won't even fall under uh, intermediate but uh, since it's a base uh, we start from this uh, simple then we will move into intermediate to advanced and this is cs interface next we will take uh, other support and we will proceed all right now let us uh, start so first let us see how we declare an interface if you see here this uh, scope is uh, optional and you can declare an interface as a public or private or you can even leave this scope next comes the interface keyword followed by the name given to the interface so this will be the name we will give to the interface after that we will declare set of functions so this is how we will create an interface so an interface is simply a contract and that tells what are all the uh, function uh, that is present in the interface so later this contract will be signed by a class which means the class implements all the functions that is defined here in this interface so next a yeah, class will be created and that class will implement the interface so developer just by looking at the class itself they know what are all the function offered by that class say for example so this will be the class and this class let's say it implements the interface when we go to the uh, we should study a demo that time we will see how to implement an interface the class can support some of the function that is a specific to this class say let's say fx fx1 these are all the function supported by this uh, uh, specific uh, class next it implements the function let's say now here we are deriving it from i mean we are implementing the ivo and we saw that ivo supported two function 
send short message then make voice call so we can say that old vivo model have some other function and also it implements the ivivo uh, interface functions so once the class implements ivivo it should definitely implement the interface functions so in uml we will represent this as so this means the class is uh, old vivo model and this um, uh, bubble pin shows that it uh, implements the ivivo interface and if you see here so this is the class which uh, implements ivivo so ivivo is the interface which we defined in the previous slide and if you see these two functions are contracted functions so these two functions are from the ivivo interface so this will be some other function uh, which is required for this old vivo model so that's all here so first it uh, this colon ivo tells that old vivo model implements ivo interface then a uh, function definition is given in the class and if you remember in ivo we just have a function declarations and here we actually defined the functions so once this is created uh, user can make use of uh, old vivo model instance and they can access interface functions using the ivivo uh, reference or they can create the i old vivo model object and they can call all three functions or they can use the ivivo reference and they can call only these two functions with this ivivo interface reference they cannot call this uh, uh, other internal function so they can call only the functions that is exposed by IV. all right now we will go to visual studio and see how we create uh, these two classes if you see first we need to create IV interface after that we will create old vivo model then we will start implementing now it's demo time we will go and implement this so all the code we saw is uh, presented in the google drive so you can uh, go to this uh, google drive for your lab uh, from the description of this uh, video so if you see this is our first uh, step uh, here we have to uh, create the ivivo interface so this uh, google document link is given in the video description uh, either you can start typing the code or you can go to this link and you can perform a copy paste so first now here in this advanced video tutorial i am going to use uh, visual studio 2005 but you can use this tutorial on any later version of visual studio you can use even visual studio 2017 all right let me open visual studio 2005 so first we need to create the ivivo interface before that we will create a new project we will choose a console application we will choose uh, the location gtemp we will name it as interfaces example or exploration so once the project is created then right click here and choose add new item then click on interface and name it as ivivo
share name it as a public then define the interviews functions now let's take the score So we created our uh, interface. Next, uh, we will create the class. And if you see, the interface is supporting uh, two functions. So the interface is iVivo. So it's uh, just a phone model, Vivo model, and let's say this old Vivo model, and that supports uh, two basic function. One is uh, sending a SMS, send short message, then make voice call. Next, we will create a class so choose the class here from the template and the class name is old vivo model so this will create a class for us then we need to implement iVivo since we already defined iVivo once I click specify i it shows the interfaces here through the IntelliSense so I'm just uh, browsing the list or I can type v also it will show iVivo and here if you see uh, you can go for class view the class view shows iVivo interface once you click here you can see the two methods that needs to be implemented here so we need to implement make voice call then send short message so now let's go ahead and implement only this uh, send short message So at this stage, if I try to go for a build solution, it throws error stating that interface fold model does not implement interface member make voice call. So here is the make voice call. So that means to build this class, since it implemented the iVivo interface, it should it is signing the contract for this iVivo. So it should implement all the function. Uh, declared in the iVivo so we need to implement make voice call so that's what this error message also showing so once we implement this and if I rebuild so that error is gone that means this class is satisfied all the contract so now it exposes the iVivo interface functionality and if you need you can put okay now we will implement some other function which is not part of the contract So all the functions are ready at this moment. We will build once. So the build is uh, succeeded. Now, if you see, this is our program entry point. And when we created the console project at that time the visual studio id created this entry point for us now here we will use our interface functions
and if you see here in the right hand side we are actually creating the object for old vivo model so we are creating object for this then we use ivivo reference so vivo old phone this is the reference name but uh, it's a type if you see it's ivivo so now through ivivo you can call only the function that is exposed by this interface if i put a dot you can see we have make voice call send short message let me click on this old vivo model and you can see there are uh, three methods over there other internal function and if you see that's not here the other internal function so the when you use the interface reference you can access only the function that is exposed by the interface and if you see the class has a three method make voice call other internal function send short message but what is exposed by ivo is make voice call and set send short message so you can see only those two messages now let me put a breakpoint here so that we can see this in the console output window and i am running this and if you see here it shows calling ivivo function so this one then make voice call so this message is from our interface function then send sms this is also from our interface function so the class since it implemented ivo can access uh, uh, the two functionality one is sending the sms and another one is uh, making the voice call so that's all here in this uh, video thank you for watching bye